showing you how to do some painting using coffee granules and for this exercise you're going to need coffee granules, paper, tap water, a plate or little bowls like these ones, a teaspoon. Depending on what materials you have around the house, a paintbrush, cotton buds and a mechanical pencil or just a regular pencil. It may also help if you have an eraser. So the easiest way to make your coffee paint is to take a pinch of coffee, so just between your thumb and forefinger, pop it in the first cup and keep going. Then without adding a pinch of coffee to your first pot, add another pinch to all your others increase coffee incrementally so that by the end you should have one pinch of coffee in your first pot, two in your second, all the way up to six pinches in your sixth pot. And now we're going to add about half a teaspoon of water to each of your pots, apart from the last one. And we're just going to add the tiniest little drop and then mix these Try not to whip the coffee because you whip air into it and then later when you're painting with it you will see some air bubbles. Okay so now we're going to test our colours and our gradients. They should each appear just a little bit darker than the one before. So far so good. are available. Um, so first of all, I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to lightly sketch out just the outline of the bottle. And if you haven't got a rubber, just do this really lightly. And then if any of the areas are too dark, you can just use your rubber to rub them out. Just lightly so that the So firstly, always start off with your lightest colour. If you are using coffee paper, this is especially helpful because you can't take away the colour. If you need to layer up colour, you can just leave it to dry for a few minutes and then come back and add the same gradient, so if I'm using this dark one here, I need to make the bottle cap a little bit darker, just let it dry for a while, and then add more layers. So we're going to keep one side the same and then the other we're just going to remove some of this cotton and then just press this end down and you can use the cotton bud as a paintbrush. inspired by any of the tips I've shown you today, please do share with us. We love to see your creations.